Okay, so they're nice and flat now. I don't think they're in a lull. I think they're just hiking harder. Found that groove, that carve up, carve up, carve up, feather, whatever it takes. I think if anything, the jib could go out an inch. And the reason is the mane's out quite a bit. When the mane's out, you gotta let the jib out, just a hair. Otherwise it shoots air into the back of the mane and, and uh, kind of hurts the mane. I don't think it's extreme at this case. I think it's just, there we go. Let's see, attack. Okay. All right. Don't fight it. If the rudder, don't fight the rudder. Just dump or head up. Okay. Don't forget to ease the jib a little bit. If the main's out, the jib's gotta be out. All right, I'm not sure if they can hear a single word I said. I'm kind of downwind from them, so all they hear is womp, womp, womp. It's a little breezy, but I think this is still spinnaker worthy uh, for this crew, This these guys. They're very little vang on right now, which could make the boat a little unstable on the downwind, but let's see how they do. So they're very undervanged, and Joel's a little bit of an undervanger on the downwind. And uh, and he loses power. Uh, the air just spills right off the top. Better than being overvanged. And I'm going to show you the vang. Being picky, of course, but there's a lot of spillage. there. I'll tuck in behind them and I'll be right back.